Life in this video, you are going to learn how to make new board mode with cell captions using PMA Pro and After Effects. You sit back. First, open PMA Pro and import your clip. Now, click on Transcribe and then click on Create Captions. Make sure to set the maximum character length to 15, minimum duration to 1.2 seconds, and lines to single. After generating the caption, select all of them, then open the Sensor Graphics panel. Change the font to Lama Milk Bold. Align the caption to the center and set this value to minus 800. Now scroll down and disable the shadow. Then go to the touch tab and fix any typos in the captions. Make sure there are no commas, periods, or special characters in the text. After cleaning up the captions, go to the graphics and titles and choose Update Captions to Graphics. This allows us to animate them like in normal text layer. Now go to the effect panel, search for transform and drag it onto your first caption layer. In the effect control panel, set a scale keyframe of 90 at the start. Move 20 frames forward and set it to 100. Next open the graph editor. And copy the curve I'm showing. This will give the text a nice scaling effect. Once done, copy the transform effect. Select all the remaining caption layers and paste it with Ctrl plus V. Now it's time to switch to After Effects. Copy all the caption layers from PME Pro and paste them into After Effects. Now select the first caption layer. Hold shift and click on the last one. Right click and pre-compose them into one composition. We'll now add gradient to the text. Double click the pre-comp to open it and see all individual caption layers. To add a gradient. Double click on the caption layer. Right click the text layer. Go to the layer styles. Choose gradient overlay. Click the arrow to expand it. Then click add a gradient. Click the light color for the first top and a darker version for the second. Repeat this for every caption layer to give each one a gradient. But if your text has more than one word, you need to separate the gradient from the non gradient parts. To do this, copy the layer three times using Ctrl plus C, then paste. In the first copy, remove the word where you want the gradient. In the second, remove the other word, align both layers properly, and remove the third one. Now add a gradient only to the layer where you want it. I'll also show you 3 to 4 visual examples of how to apply the gradients, but if you want to skip them, you can jump to this part of the video. Now it's time to add some final effects. The first effect that we are going to add is pixel motion blur. Drag the effect onto your clip and copy my settings. Next, we compose the clip. Then paste the effect again using Ctrl plus V and pre compose the clip again. Repeat this 5 to 6 times to stack the effect. The second effect is Twixture. Drag it onto your clip and copy my settings. Next, we'll add Deep Glow. Set radius to 510 and exposure to 0.50. 
Now we'll add drop shadow three times for the first shadow, set radius to 7 and softness to 2. For the second shadow, set distance to 7 and softness to 2. For the third shadow, set distance to 7 and softness to 20. And lastly, we'll apply bevel alpha. Set the value to 3. And now your text is ready. And it should Life is a tragedy in close-up and a comedy in long shot. If you sit back visually on a situation, it automatically becomes funnier.